John Boy, look what I got. There was a, wasn't that long ago, I was at work, actually working, and I pulled up my emails one day, or at some point during the day, and realized that I was too late to order something from Sun Tup Editions that I actually wanted. They came out with a trinket, a knickknack, a gadget, gadget thing to sit on your shelf. I like knickknacks and I like trinkets and I like gadgets and gadgets sitting on my junk. They came out with a emblem, Sun Tup Editions emblem bookshelf display with the Sun Tup Editions logo. Turns out a fellow by the name of Chris Elmore had designed one, put a lot of work and effort into one, and uh, Paul Suntup really dug it, as well as the other folks that saw it really dug it. So they came up with a deal. They put, I think, 40 of them up for sale on the Suntup website. And a couple hours later, when I noticed it, naturally, they were all gone. And I had to wipe away the tears at work, which is really embarrassing especially in the industry that I'm in. You got to be tough. You can't be weak. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I was sad and I missed it. And I figured, well, maybe one day I'll get one. But I doubt the 40 that got them would want to sell them. As it turns out, they came out with a deal to make more. And this time I got one. They made a hundred. I think they made a hundred more. Put a hundred more up for sale anyway on the SunTup website. And as of right now, while I'm talking, there are four left. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of the four. I believe the price is $45 plus S&H, whatever S&H is. Not green stamps, shipping and handling. Whatever they charge to ship it, I don't remember what they charge. 45 bucks plus shipping and stuff to get yours. And it comes in a box like you see here. They say it's in foam. We're finna find out what it's all about. I want one. I got one. Hopefully I got one anyway. Might be. We'll see what's in here. Um, what else? They say this thing made of three kinds of wood. Baltic birch, walnut, and maple. Laser engraved, hand painted, hand assembled on a stand of some sort and ready for display in my casa and hopefully in your casa too. That's enough. Let's see what it looks like. See how cool it is. See how sweet it is. Let's see. My dog is getting sick of hearing me talk. My dog's ready to see, too. She's barking up a storm out there. But I like trinkets. I've, I, I've been collecting Sun Tup Edition books for a little while now. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't there in the beginning. I didn't hear of Sun Tup. I didn't hear of Sun Tup Editions until they published a book, or they, were go they, they sold a book already, uh, called Biblio Mysteries, which has a short story by one of my very favorite authors, F. Paul Wilson. I had a limited edition of his story in there, the Compendium of Srim, come out from uh, from Mysterious Press. I heard about Sun Tup Editions, and I said, I want one, but they're all sold out. And then uh, I that's how Sun Tup got on my radar. I don't know how many they put out before then. But anyway, I wasn't around, but I've seen... I've seen a lot of folks with some cool sun tub trinkets sitting on their shelves, and I get jealous. I only get jealous when other people have things that I want. Other than that, I never get jealous, but sometimes I do. I get jealous seeing the cool stuff they got, the coffee cups or whatever, all the who's it's and what's it's and all that kind of stuff, and I don't got one, so this time I got one even though it was the second wave. I don't really know. I don't believe there's any differences between the first wave and second wave, the 40 or the, the 100. I think they're the same, but uh, we'll see what mine looks like. There's the custom foam that they talk about. And the foam, all right, so it's, it's got a little, you see when I pulled my foam out, it kind of just come out with it. It's got a custom foam with notches in there, so it holds it in place and stops it from getting messed up. See that? And here it is. It, it, wanted, it wanted to be exposed to the world. It didn't want to be hiding. So it jumped out at me, and now it's jumping out at you. Woo! Anyway, this 
is what we're talking about. There's our stand. There's a hand assembly, the hand painting, the laser engraved, three different types of wood. I'm not an expert on wood, but there it looks like at least three different colors. So I'm assuming that might mean three different types. And uh, the immortal, the iconic, it can't be immortal because it's only been around for a few years. Perhaps it will be immortal. But as of this point, it is already the iconic Suntup Editions logo. How do you like that? How do you like me now? I got one for my shelf. Woohoo! Anyway, uh, it's neat. Really neat. One of those things where one day, if I hadn't have gotten one, one day I would have been wishing I had a got one. So I did. I did future me a favor. I hooked that brother up. Because sometimes current me hates past me. So if current me takes care of future me, maybe future me won't be so hateful towards current me when current me is future me. Anyway, sometimes you got to do stuff like that. It's complicated, but I'm an expert at it. There it is. Beautiful. The back is plain. I don't see any kind of numbering or identification marks that might indicate series runs or limitations or anything like that simply a beautiful item and if i understood correctly i think paul suntup in his last live stream said that he doesn't plan on offering any more up for sale anytime soon so that might mean one day but i don't think he's planning on making another hundred available there's like i said there's four left as of right now hop on and get one if you want because the people that have these they don't seem to be buying these to sell them. They buy them to stick them on their shelf. You may never, ever get one again. Who knows? I uh, can't think of any more items to tell. Very cool item. It's going, for now, it's going right there, baby, on the shelf. But shelves move. Stuff moves around. Front and center is where it belongs. Front and center is probably where it will, uh, where it will be. And, uh, of course, I'm now in front of it. See that? Can't think of any more lies to tell, so I'm just going to have to say goodbye. Say la vie. Baby.